The standard for overturning a deportation ruling is exceptional and unusual hardship. This court has used that standard before. It was meant for families like the Acostas. Javier and Gloria Acosta have no other relatives in this country. They're home for the past 23 years. If they are sent away, their five children and their restaurant becomes the sole responsibility of a 24-year-old who is himself a DACA kid. If the burden becomes too much for Emilio Acosta, or if the status of the dreamer should change, then 20 American families would find their breadwinners without a job, a thriving business would become an empty storefront, and the Acosta children would be separated and sent into the foster system. And that, Your Honor, is exceptional hardship. Ms. Santos, the law is more specific than that. The hardship must be substantially different from or beyond what is ordinarily expected. It needs to be very uncommon and limited to truly exceptional situations. Unfortunately, heartbreak is anything but uncommon in these cases. So is the wrenching apart of families. Your Honor, the children in this case and the age of the only responsible adult. Ms. Santos, the law is clear. Valentina, Lucia, Beto, Emilio, I'm sorry. Mr. and Mrs. Acosta, my hands are tied. The former ruling stands. No! Shh.